What's up, buds? How's it hanging? I'm Greg, and today I'm going to be streaming more of my favorite game, Final Fantasy VII. I'm always excited to play this, so without further ado, let's undo this. About to bust some air. I did run around and get my limit breaks for each character and gained a couple levels off screen. But that's it. So let's move on. This way, generous soldiers, angry symbols. What the hell's going on? A trap? But President Shinra? Why is the president here? Hmm. So you all must be what is it? Avalanche. And don't forget it. So you're President Shinra, huh? Long time no see, sir. Long time no see. Oh, you. You're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche? I knew you'd been exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor. What was your name? Stu. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name unless you become another Sephiroth. Ah, uh, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth? Don't give a damn about none of that. This place is going up with the Big Bang soon. Serves y'all right. And such a waste of good fireworks. Just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shinra's the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that'd make you the king vermin. So shut up, jackass. You're beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man. So if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I've made arrangements for a playmate for you all. What's that noise? The hell is that? Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier. Our weapon development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in the future experiments. Techno soldier? Now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, President! Yo, Stu, we gotta do something about him. Help, Stu. This is from Soldier? No way. It's just a machine. I don't care what it is. I'm gonna bust him up. Oh, he shot her in the face. I think it should all already be almost dead. Oh, I should have used Bolt. Oh wait, never mind. That was Sally. He did. I pwned him. <laughs> Yeet! It's gonna blow! Let's go, Sally! Bert, can't you do something? Not a damn thing. Stu, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Sally. Hey, you gonna be all right? You worry about yourselves. I'm all right, but take care of Sally. All right, sorry about all this. Stop talking like it's the end. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Is Cloud dead? Oh no. You alright? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. I'll try. Oh, it moved. How about that? Take it slow now, little by little. Hello? Hello? I know. Hey. Who are you? Hello? Hello? You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. I came crashing down? 
The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Flower bed? Is this yours? Sorry about that. Eh, that's alright. The flowers are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar, but for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. So we meet again. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I remember. You were selling flowers. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for buying my flowers. Say, do you have any materia? Yes, some. Nowadays you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are meeting again. I don't mind. Wait here. I've got to check my flowers. It'll just be a minute. Eris is still lovable in this version. It's just they did like an amazing job with her character in the remake. They made me love her so much more. Really made me love all the characters so much more. It just further extended that love. Just a little longer. Oh, now that you mention it, we don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... <laughs> That's messed up, but I'm doing it. Her name is Dead. I'm Dead, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. The name's Stu. Me? I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades. Yeah, I do whatever's needed. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just... Sorry, bad timing on my part. Stu, don't let it get to you. Say, Stu, have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, but it'll cost you. Okay, then. Let's see. How about... If I go out with you once? <laughs> he was like, alright, cool. Hell yeah. I don't know who you are, but... You don't know me. I know you. Oh yeah? I know you. That uniform. Hey, sis. This one's a little weird. Shut up, Shenra spy. Reno, I want him taken out. I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here. You'll ruin the flowers. The exit is back here. They were... Mako eyes. Yeah, alright. Come on. Get to work. Oh. And don't step on the flowers. I couldn't read all that in that quick. That's weird. I typically don't get into a battle uh, before I get to the top. Yep. I skipped it on accident. Stu! That one! I know. Looks like they aren't gonna let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. Dead! This way! Alright. I'll hold them off. Right. Make sure they don't get through. The ancient is getting away. Get her! Yeah! Dead! <laughs> Think we killed him? They never should have fought us. Stu! Help! Damn. What's that? Hold on. I don't remember which one it is. I can never remember. I'm just going to go with this one. Dang it. This is another thing. I've been playing this game for 20 years. I still never remember which barrels go where. you think I would, but... Nah. I typically just fight them. So like I said, I'm a I'm a grinder, so. Oops, I almost took Aerith out. <laughs> oh, Stu, what are you doing? 
I could have equipped her with magic. How have I never thought of that until just now? I could have put magic on her. Egg! Stu, help! I just run. Oh, all right. Where'd she run to? It looked like she would have ran into him. Stu, help! Hold on a minute. I'm gonna push this random barrel. Ha ha! Noah! Thanks, Stu. You made it! Dead! This way! She's been landing some criticals. They're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. Hmm. The Turks are a general organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know, they look like it. But why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I have what it takes to be a soldier. <laughs> Maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know. But I don't want to get caught by those people. Then let's go. Wait. Wait, I said. Puff. Wheeze. Slow down! Don't leave me! Funny. I thought you were cut out to be a soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Hey, Stu. Were you ever in soldier? Da da da. I used to be. How'd you guess? Your eyes. They have a strange glow. That's the sign of those who have been infused with Mako. A mark of soldier. But how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right. Nothing. Come on. Let's go, bodyguard. Whew! Finally made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry before they come. See, I'm nuts. Like, I would train typically in the next area until I'm like level 20. For no damn reason. No reason at all. It's absolutely unnecessary. But I like being able to destroy the bosses like I did with the Airbuster. I don't know why, that's always been super satisfying to me. Uh, get another lightning. Another restore. Yeah. <clears throat> Get her some materia. For restore on cloud. He needs fire. She's got a guard stick. I don't even remember what's in here. Hmm. Everything President Shinra says is a lie. But you can't trust that avalanche or whatever you call them. You can bat it around all you like, but but all it comes down to is wanting to live like the people up there. So who do I believe in? Myself. Me. I never lie to myself, that's for sure. Oh yeah, you can steal the kid's money. I remember this now. I don't remember what this place has. Hold on. There we go, Titan Bangle. We need some of those. Yeah. I'm home, Mom. This is Stu, my bodyguard. Guard. Bodyguard? You were followed again? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm alright. I had Stu with me. Thank you, Stu. So, what are you gonna do now? Is Sector 7 far from here? I wanna go to Sally's bar. Is Sally a girl? Yeah. 
A girlfriend? Yeah, that's right. Oh, how nice. Well, that's nice. Let's see, Sector 7. I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Well, I don't know. Getting help from a girl. Oh, in 2021, though, bro. In 2021, though. You gonna say that? Oh, you about to get canceled, Cloud. Ah. Uh... <laughs> a girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me to just sit by quietly after hearing you say something like that? Mom, I'm taking Stu to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. But dear, I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Dad, please go make the bed. That glow in your eyes. You're from Soldier, right? Yeah, or I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but could you please leave here tonight without telling Dad? You need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so you better get some rest tonight. Stu, good night. Oh man, seem pretty tired. <laughs> dot dot dot, exclamation point! I haven't slept in a bed like this for a long time. Oh yeah, ever since then. My, how you've grown. I'll bet all the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend. One that'll take care of you. I think that would be best for you. I'm not interested. I must have fallen asleep. Sector 7's Sector 7's past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. Alright. We did what Mom wanted. We left without Dead seeing us. You're up bright and early. I couldn't ask you to go. I knew it would be dangerous. Are you done? You have to go through the slum in Sector 6 to get to Sally's 7th Heaven. I'll take you there. Come on. Do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. Got through there without a battle? The gate to Sector 7's in there. Thanks. I guess this is goodbye. You gonna be alright getting home? Oh no, whatever will I do? Isn't that what you want me to say? I could do that, but I, but won't I be in your way? What do you mean in the way? Nothing. Can we take a break? I can't believe it's still here. Stu, over here. What rank were you? Rank? You know. And soldier? Oh, I was first class. Just the same as him. The same as who? My first boyfriend. Were you serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. See, I think they changed that a little bit in the remake. I'm pretty sure she actually said his name, but it only showed her lips. And like, they cut out the audio because like, it caused Cloud to start tripping out a little bit, which was actually pretty cool. I love like the foreshadowing and stuff they did in the remake. I'm gonna have to play that one too. Huh? Hey, back there, Sally. That girl in the cart was Sally? Where was she going? She looked kind of odd. Wait, I'll go, what? <laughs> It automatically passed it. I couldn't do none.
I don't know what I'm doing. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. So we gotta find Sally fast. This music is fire, bruh. It is fire, bruh. Welcome. Even unpopular dweebs like you may meet their destiny here. You looking for a girlfriend too? You know a girl named Sally? Hey, you're pretty fast. Sally's our newest girl. But unfortunately, she's having an interview right now. Here at the Honey Bee Inn, it's customary for all new girls to be taken to Don Corneo's mansion. Don Corneo is a famous delin- what? I don't, even, I don't know what that word is. Dilentante? Del Delatante? We'll go with Delatante. Don Corneo is a famous dilettante. He know <laughs> he wants to settle down and is in the market for a bride. Let's go. He ain't getting my lady. He ain't getting my Sally. Those boobles are mine. This is the mansion of Don Corneo, the most powerful man in Wall Market. Look. The Don's not into men, so don't let me catch you around here again. Hey, you got a cute one with you. Hey, this looks like the Don's mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell Sally about you. No, you can't. Why? Do you know what kind of place this is? Then what am I supposed to do? You want to go in with me? Well, being a man, that's pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, it'll cause too much commotion. But I just can't let you go in alone. Ugh, man. First, we need to find out if Sally's alright. What's so funny, Dad? Stu, why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. What? Just wait. I've got a cute friend I want to bring. Dad, I can't. You're worried about Sally, aren't you? Then come on, hurry. Let's get Cloud dressed up as a girl. Excuse me, I'd like to get a dress. Um, it might take a little time. Will that be alright? What's the problem? Well, my father, the owner, has been in a slump lately. You see, he makes all the dresses. And where's your father? He's probably plastered at the bar. So, you're saying we can't get a dress unless we do something about your father? Yes, I'm sorry. He's caused so much trouble. Exclamation point? You'd help me bring him back? Well, if we don't do something, we don't get a dress, right? Really? Please help my crazy old man. I just don't know what to do anymore. All right, we'll do something. Let's go, Stu. Excuse us, are you the father of the girl at the clothing store? I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. I didn't say that. Make me some clothes. I don't make men's clothes, and I don't feel like making anything right now. Stu, you wait over there for a second. I'll try and talk to him. Why don't you go over there and have something to drink? You know, mister, he's always said that just once he'd like to dress up like a girl. So that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. What? A tough looking guy like that? So, how about it? Will you make him one? Might be interesting. I was getting a little bored just making regular clothes. Then you'll do it for us? Yeah. All right. What kind of dress do you want? Something that feels clean and something shiny. Hmm, got it. You know, I got a friend that has the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. Now we need a wig. Think we have to go back here first? Yeah. Oh, you're here. It's ready. Go try it on. I forgot I was supposed to doing, be doing his voice. Huh? How do you put this on? Whoa, what are you doing? It's still not right. A wig. That's what you need. Um, I thought you might, so I talked to a friend about getting one. You know, at the gym. You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them. Like you? Dead. 
What did you tell him? Does it matter? Anyhow, we got a pretty dress. Are you the one who wants to be cute? <laughs> cute? Right. And about the wig? Yeah, I heard, but it'll cost you. The only way you're gonna get cuter is if you could beat Big Bro. That's right. So you gotta compete with us. You're right. Let's do squats. All right, I'll beat you out of this gym. Are you the beautiful bro? What, you didn't know? Always running around here saying big bro this, big bro that? Never mind that, come over here. No, I'll explain the rules. From the ready position, square to squat, X to get up, and circle to go back to the ready position. So it's square, X, circle, in that order. Got it. Whoever has the most squats after 30 seconds gets the wig. Not gonna lose. Big bro's wig is mine. Just be quiet. He's on crack! He's on crack! I win! I win! Even though he's on crack. Beat him by six squats. I am the squat master. You're really something. Okay, I'm a man of my word. Here you are. Receive the key item, blonde wig. I'm big bro. I'm so mad. I'm so, so, so mad. Punch. Shut up. Don't cry just because you lost. Ugh, bro's fist of steel cut to the bone. Up, oh, bro fist. PewDiePie reference. They knew even before he did. Random. Alright. Looks like you're all set. Now try it on, and let's see how it fits. <laughs> Aren't you going to change? Okay, I'm ready. Hmm, not bad. This may be a new business for me. Yeah, you're right. Should we try it? Thanks for showing us something new. My father's got. Him. Thanks for showing us something new. My father's got his motivation back now. So the dress is on the house. Walk more nicely. Like this, Miss Stew. What do you mean, nicely? Oh, you're so cute, Miss Stew. Ah, I want one. Do you have one that... Do you have one that'll look good on me, too? How's this? How about that one? Father, what are you talking about? This one's much better. No, what are you saying? This one. I want this one. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna go change. No peeking. So, how do I look? Oh, you look so pretty, fool heiress. Oh, you're no fun. On to the Corneo's mansion. Corneo's sounds like a horrible breakfast cereal. Damn, your friend's hot, too. She thick, bruh. Come in, come in. Two ladies coming through. Hey, ladies. I'll go and let the Don know you're here. Wait here. Don't wander around. Now's our chance. Let's find Sally. <laughs> Sally? Nice to meet you. I'm dead. <laughs> Stu's told me a lot about you. And you are? Hey, you're the one with Stu in the park. Right, with Stu. Oh, don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. What do you mean, don't worry? About what? No, don't misunderstand. Stu and I grew up together, nothing more. Poor Stu, having to stand here and listen to us both calling him nothing. Right, Stu? Stu? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark! <clears throat> Stu! Why are you dressed like that? And what are you doing here? Never mind. What happened to you after the fall? Are you hurt? Slow down. Let me answer. I'm dressed like this because there was no other way to get in here. I'm alright. Dead helped me out. Oh. Dead did? Sally, explain what you're doing in a place like this. Yeah, um... 
I'll just plug my ears. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks. What happened? When we got back from the Sector 5 reactor, we saw a weird man. Bert caught him and squeezed him. Bert caught him and squeezed some information out of him. That's when the Don's name popped up. Right. Don Corneo. Bert told me to leave the ledge alone. But something's been bothering me. I see. So you wanted the story straight from Corneo's mouth. Well, I made it here, but now I'm stuck. Corneo's looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and then, well, anyway, I have to be the girl for tonight. Sorry, but I overheard. If you know the three girls, there's no problem, right? I guess so, but we have two here, right? No, Dad. I can't involve you. Oh, so it's alright for Sally to be in danger. No, I don't want Sally in- Is it alright? I grew up in the slums. I'm used to danger. Do you trust me? Yes. Thanks, Miss Dead. Call me Dead. Uh, yeah, they'll be doing that pretty soon. H hey! It's time, ladies. The Don is waiting. I told you not to wander around. I tell you, women nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? I guess I don't need to ask, but the other girl is me, right? You're right. You didn't need to ask. They're gonna get subs they're gonna get suspicious if we don't hurry. What's up, sleaze ball? All right, ladies, line up in front of the dawn. Hmm, good, splendid. Now let's see which girl should I choose. Hmm. Hmm. This one? Or this one? Woohoo! I've made up my mind. My choice for tonight is. This little beauty. Fooey, be nice, Don. You can have the rest. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Shall we go, my pretty? Hey guys, we've got guests. We'll take real good care of you. This is all thanks to the big boss, Don Corneo. Hey, three cheers for Don Corneo. <laughs> well, ladies, are we all uh ready? Yeah. Hey, what's wrong? You want me to keep you company? I'm flattered, but no thanks. Because, 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 I ain't interested in a bunch of scrubs like you. What? A man? God damn it. Don't think you'll get out of this. Get him. Beat the f out of him. Ding, 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 ding. Actually, gonna save my braver. Save my braver! Grr. Come on, what's the matter with you good for nothings? Alright now, come on, I'll show you how it's done. I got fire. This game even looks beautiful with just like the bare minimum upgrades that they did. At least in battles. They did. Oh, I forgot. I gotta go get dead. No! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> dead! You alright? I told you, I'm used to danger. To tell you the truth, my heart was pounding. Let's go help Sally. Come, come, don't be so shy. I know, but you know, Don Corneo, 
I'd like you to explain something before we start. Hmm. Oh, you mean about that? Don't worry, I'm single. There, feel better now? No, I wasn't asking about that. Wait a minute. No, not yet. Come, 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 come. Oh, I can't wait any longer. Here comes Papa. Oh, no. Stu! Dodge. What the hell? Who's there? You still don't get it, do you, Don Corneo? What? Shut up. You're asking the questions now. What did your assistant find out? Talk. If you don't tell us, I'll chop it off. No, not that. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. So talk. I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was. But that's what I was ordered to do. By whom? No. If I told you that, I'd be killed. Talk. If you don't tell us, I'll rip it off. What? It was Head Iger from Shinra. Head Iger is the head of peace preservation. The head of peace preservation? Did you say the Shinra? What are they up to? Talk. If you don't tell us, I'll smash it. You're serious, aren't you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not fooling around here either, you know. Shinra's trying to crush a small rebel group called Avalanche and want to infiltrate their hideout. And they're really gonna crush them, literally, by breaking the supports holding up the plate above them. Break the supports? You know what's gonna happen? The plate will go ping, and everything's gonna go BAM! I heard their hideouts in the Sector 7 slums. I'm just glad it's not here in Sector 6. They're gonna wipe out the Sector 7 slums? Stu, will you come with me to Sector 7? Of course, Sally. Just a second. Shut up. No, wait. It'll only take a second. Why do you think scum like me babbled on about the truth? Because I've given up on life. Buzz. Wrong. <laughs> you bitch! How are the preparations going? Yeah! -ha -ha! Smoothly. Very smoothly. I assigned the Turks to this. President, are we really gonna do this? Simply destroy a group with only a few members? What's the problem, Reeve? You want out? No. But as the head of the Urban Development Department, I have been involved in the building and running of Midgar. That's why. Reeve, flush your personal problems with the rest of your crap. The mayor's against this anyway. Mayor? He just sits in the building all day, feeding his face. You still call that a mayor? Now, if you'll excuse me, sir. You're tired. Why don't you take a couple of days off and go somewhere? Now he's got a little cigar. We'll destroy Sector 7 and report that Avalanche did it. Then we'll send the rescue operation care of Shinra. Then we'll send the rescue operation care of Shinra Incorporated. <laughs> this is perfect. Who should I check first? How are they fighting when they're on the ground? Actually, you know what? I kind of just want to run away from this. Oh, but I got a limit break. Let's heal up. I have one potion. Let's use the one potion on Stu. Alright, we're gonna wreck this boss. You alright? Man, this is terrible. You alright? Yeah. Well, the worst is over. Maybe not. <laughs> Wait, back attack? It's not always a back attack, is it? I feel like that's not supposed to happen. You dead, bruh! You dead! He did. Wrecked him. It's too late. Marlene, Bert, the people of the slums. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It's not easy to destroy the pillar, right? Yeah, you're right. We still have time. Let's go save the peoples.
I hate these things. I'm not even gonna fight them. Get away from me! Alright, we're in the train graveyard. Dead. I got you mixed up into this. I got you mixed up in this. Don't tell me to go home. If we can just get past the trains that are lit up, we should be able to get out of here. Alright. Alright. I think that's where we're going to call it for the day. We'll be continuing Final Fantasy VII at a later date. Uh, probably about an hour at a time. <laughs> but um, until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and do you. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.